Duke University, home to great basketball, great community service, great social life, and of course, great papers. How do we do it? Well, the writing studio can help with the last one. Because she doesn't, she doesn't know, and she doesn't know if everything he's reading is actually from the text or stuff that he's making up to tell her to be a good wife. And, and it's well, you keep saying she doesn't know. I mean, how? Why are you reading her as illiterate? Do people call her illiterate I, in the text? I, I don't know. I guess I've been a writing tutor at Duke uh, Writing Studio for six semesters now. I guess in, in a couple of things here. The first is she's talking about these old days of King Arthur. So some of that's probably oral. Work. I'm a graduate student in English. So it seems like you are surmising that she might be illiterate based on the time period, mm -hmm. and that might be a good guess. Mm -hmm. But um, there probably were some women who were illiterate then. Mm -hmm. But we see, like with Christine de we see her with a book of this It's It's often associated with struggling writers or remedial writers, and really nothing can be further from the truth. I even had that misconception when I was an undergraduate. I never went to the writing center at my university, and now I look back and realize that was a big mistake. But the writing studio is a place that uh, even advanced writers can come for an outside perspective on their work, and maybe see what was confusing to a reader that they wouldn't have thought about. Um, so it's good for all kinds of writers. I went there a few times last year, and I've been there twice this year to talk about papers. Um, sometimes it's just been, to, well, honestly, <laughs> just to read through it aloud, because I might not do that by myself. Coming to Duke, I felt a little nervous, I'd say. I mean, to write college papers. I've had really positive experiences from the writing studio. Um, it's far exceeded my expectations. I've gone there for, for you know, two or three of my classes to work on different essays and stuff, and it's been very helpful to the writing tutors. You know, they go through things with you, and they address your specific concerns, and they sort of formulate their feedback based on the, your individual needs. It's really helpful. Freshman year, I went to the writing studio for um, one of my, actually my writing 20 course, and I didn't really know what to expect, and I went in and I guess I wanted to do some brainstorming, and I found that the tutor that I had was very helpful, and ever since then I've been hooked. As a result of the writing studio, not only have I um, gotten a lot more confident in my writing, I've actually started writing for the Chronicle, you know, because the writing studio has you know, taught me some techniques my writing not only for academic papers but also like for you know journalistic qualities as well. So it's definitely been very beneficial to my development as a writer. First year writers that are coming to the writing studio, I would recommend several things. Number one, it's very helpful if they can bring the assignment prompt and a lot of people don't think to actually bring that with them, but that's helpful for the writing tutors as well as for them. Um, also, if they can think in advance about what they would really like to achieve in an hour, um, that helps us because we'll always ask, what would you like to work on? So sometimes you just want someone to look at a paper and that's all, all you need, but if you realize that you have problems with sentence structure or if your professor has said that you should work on certain things, those are really good for us to know as tutors um, to have a more successful session. Sometimes. It's hard to get started on a paper. Or it's hard to finish your paper. But that's okay. Get whatever you have together and bring it to the writing studio. They can help. I take from it something different than everybody takes from it, you know, and if you were a good writer, then you'd be able to work on the finer points of your argument with everybody there. And if you're a not strong writer, they're going to help you kind of get to the point where you can make good arguments and, and make it logical as you go through your paper. Or, you know, or if you just need editing, or if you don't have a topic. I mean, really, whatever you need, they are going to be able to help you get that. Let's take a look at the Anybody Can Write method. True, anybody can write. If by write you mean put words down on paper. But effective writing is a skill.
skill that must be acquired someplace, sometime, just as building bridges is. This ability is not innate, it can be acquired, it can be learned. Here are some important tips that can increase your skill. Say what you mean. Make sure what you say is what you mean in terms familiar to your audience. Don't try to impress your listener. You sound sincere. When you say things you really believe, be ready to write. You can never put on paper what does not exist clearly in your mind. So define your aim.